Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I meal prep my lunch for the whole entire week or well for the five days of the work week that I work. Does that make sense? Yeah, so anyway, I am just making something creative and I hope you guys enjoy. So first I'm just going to take a pot with the steamer thing. It's just so the vegetables don't touch the water but they're still getting soft. And I'm turning the heat to like a medium low. And then we're just going to put in the baby broccoli florets and we're going to cook them until they're soft. This should take about, you know, 15 minutes or so and after that they should be soft. But just check with your fork whenever they're ready. And then whenever they are ready, just turn your heat off and keep that aside. Then I'm just using my cutting board and a knife and I have half an, of an onion here and I'm just going to finally chop it up until I like the size of the pieces and then I'm going to separately put this into another bowl and then put that aside. Using that same cutting board I'm also going to chop up a one green red, not green red, what, what am I saying? One green bell pepper and I'm just going to you know, take out the seed part of it, take out that white stuff, whatever that is and slice it up and cut it up into also little pieces and then also I'll put that aside into another bowl. Then I'm just taking that same pot that we used before but we got rid of the broccoli and I am using this to make rice and I'm just following the package direction so I'm adding in water as it told me to, a little bit of butter and half a teaspoon of salt and I'm just going to put this on, I think it's also like a medium heat, I'm not really sure but just follow your package directions for your rice. Then I'm adding in the rice when the water boils and covering it with a too large um, lid because ain't nobody got time to find the right size. And in the meantime, I am just taking a pan, putting some olive oil on it and mincing some garlic into my pan. And I'm just going to let it get fragrant, you know, with the oils and everything until it's like a little bit clearer than what it is now. And then once it is a little clearer, I'm ready to put in my onion. Same thing with the onion here, you're just going to mix it up so it gets all oily and everything so it's all covered and you're just going to wait until that gets a little bit clearer and translucent and then you're ready to add in your green peppers and then for this you're just going to wait until it's a little softer um, till whatever preference you prefer so you can just keep tasting as you are cooking and I just added in a little bit of pepper and salt for some seasoning. While that pepper and onion mix is still on the stove, I decided to cut up a zucchini. So I cut off the ends, I washed it, all that yada yada goody stuff, and I'm taking my spiralizer. I've been loving this thing so much, and it's perfect to make zoodles or zucchini noodles. And I've really been enjoying it making this for my lunch. So it took about 15 minutes to spiralize this one whole entire zucchini, which was a perfect amount of time while my peppers and onions were cooking. So then I got all of these zucchini noodles and I just cut them up to be a little bit smaller because they can get very 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 long and I just prefer bite sized pieces and I don't want to be like doing that kind of thing trying to get all the zoodles in my mouth at once when I'm eating. So like I said while I was preparing my zoodles my rice finished cooking so that was the perfect timing and then also my peppers and onion and garlic kind of mix that also finished cooking as well. So then I'm just going to clear this off of the pan and we're going to start fresh with that same pan and I just wipe it down. I don't even bother washing it in between until I am finally done cooking and then I'll wash it at the end. Ta-da! Clean, kind of not so really looking pan because I told you I just like wiped it down. And I added in a little bit more olive oil and then I added in my zoodles. And now for this I'm adding in also a little bit of seasoning. So I'm adding in some pepper, some salt, and I also added in some emerald seasoning because it just tastes really good with everything and it's like a seasoning that you could use on anything. So then I'm just mixing that up and making sure my zoodles are covered with some spices and some flavor. And I think I also had this like on a medium low heat. I am just cooking it until the zoodles kind of shrink in size just a little bit. But I still want them to be crunchy. So this is where, you know, your taste preferences come in. If you want them crunchy, that's fine. If you don't, that's also fine. But then I'm preparing my five days of the week kind of... Um, snapware that I have. I got these from Target. I will link everything down below that I use. I like to keep my meals a little bit different, like same but different. So I added in rice for three of the days of the week. I added in some broccoli florets to two of the days that I have for lunches. And then I also added in zoodles to three of the other ones. So two of them get like full on zoodles and one of them just gets like a little bit of zoodle for some veggies in my meal. And then you can't forget about your pepper, oniony, garlicky mix. So I added a little bit of this into every single meal and this adds just a little bit more flavor and more veggies to my lunches. And then I'm also going to defrost some ground 
turkey I think I had this time. Sometimes I use ground beef, sometimes ground turkey. In this, in this case, it's ground turkey. So I'm just defrosting some in my microwave because again, ain't nobody got time to wait for that to defrost in the fridge. And once it's defrosted, I am just putting this onto my pan. I am also gonna add some taco seasoning and I just love it because it's easy and simple and it adds a whole bunch of yummy delicious yummy flavors to my um, ground turkey. So I'm just gonna mix that up on like a lower heat so it's like a medium low heat cook it until it's all browned and then I realized I actually needed a little bit more taco seasoning so I just added in a little bit more again personal preference um, to your taste buds so while you're cooking you get to snack on your food a little bit once that is all cooked I'm gonna make sure to add my ground turkey to my meals but without that water that kind of piled up while you were cooking it so I did drain it in between I just forgot to show that part but I did drain some of the water then I'm going to close it all up when it's cooled down and then I'm just going to stack these in my refrigerator and then I have my five days of lunches for the week. After I'm done with that, I'm also going to cut up some celery because I love having a snack whether it's on the train or just right after I eat my lunch, some kind of snack that I like to have. So I am cutting up some celery and I am adding in some hummus into these super cute like celery hummus containers but they totally work for like crackers and Nutella or whatever. I will link those containers down below and I homemade my hummus so a video on that is also coming soon um, of how I made it. It's not in this video but I will be showing that soon because I already filmed it. And then lastly I also like a little bit of sweet so I did make some pumpkin muffins ahead of time and I just wrapped them in like some saran wrap and I now have my five days of meals for the whole entire week and it's fabuloso and I don't have to do anything during the week so it's nice and easy I just take it and I take it to work with me and it's so easy and it saves me so much time throughout the week so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching bye